hello it is another week it is the week before exams and i'm just like today i'm in that mood where i'm like i'm mean business i'm gonna get stuff done i have been revising all morning i have been revising this afternoon i can't wait for dinner now because i'm bored <laughs> i need to write a few essays this evening and i've got to get up early tomorrow morning because i've got a rowing outing i think i might make it the last one before exams because got to focus got to get that sleep Good morning, so I am just about to do a maths paper. Exciting times. It is, what's the day today? It's Friday morning. I had a rowing outing this morning. It was great, it has got me up. I am now sat at my desk. I have got my paper at the ready. Yes, it's squared because I've run out of lined paper. That is what my life has come to. But my parents are coming tomorrow, so I'm like, can you just bring some with you to save me from going to the shops? Because I don't have time. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do a maths paper this morning. Then I've got a physics supervision. And then I've got my last math supervision. I'm just gonna be prepared so I can like ask any final questions I might have to my supervisors. Oh god, they're just leaving me to it now. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna get on with the maths paper. It's three hours long, so wish me luck. I hate concentrating for that amount of time, but I've gotta be like really ready for it because I'm gonna have to do that like for all my exams. They're all so long. Who organizes three hour exams? It's awful, like I lose concentration. I get bored during the exam. I feel like it's gonna have a negative impact on my grade, not gonna lie. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling and actually get on with this paper. And this was my last time in Selwyn College for my maths supervision. There's a vlog clip from the first week where I came here for the very first time and that's such a throwback. It is so humid today, like you would not believe I'm boiling hot from cycling here. <sighs> you tell my hair is more frizzy. Like it doesn't look, it's not even sunny outside. Don't understand. These stairs never fail to kill me off. Out of breath every time I get up here. <sighs> Takes me like a good five minutes to recover. What does that say about my fitness levels? So, we have discovered that Astrid can do maths and English. Yeah, so many skills. Thank you. I'm actually really clever. So, as you can see here, I've got four marks out of 20 on section A of a maths tripos paper. Um, yeah, my A level maths is pretty, pretty small. And actually, this is the most success I've had at Cambridge so far. I'm so proud of you. My English degree is great. <laughs> I also competed. Here's my work. Um, we didn't actually set a proper scoring system, so it's all a bit open as to who actually won. But it was it was good fun. Tim, meanwhile, I mean, doing what were you doing? I mean, comps. I'm counting that as maths. So yeah, why did Tim decide to do compski when the rest of us are doing maths? Who knows? I mean, I have a compski paper on Monday. That's three days away. So like, I probably should do that. Really, he makes a good point. And it also begs the question, what's he doing here on the staircase hallway with us? <laughs> well, he should be in his room. <laughs> but there you go. Okay, so my parents have popped up to visit me today. And we have come for brunch out of college, which is very nice. Um, here they are. Are you just treating us to brunch? No, I'm not. They're paying. It's the best <laughs> bit about parents coming. They're going to buy my food, so it'll be great. I hope you don't mind. I'm going to pick and how's the food? Excellent. Really tasty. Just waiting for my coffee. Hello, so I'm in the laundry room and look who's joined me for the laundry segment. My parents. They've had them helping me carry my stuff down to the laundry room. It's great. Uh, we'll just put some of my washing on and I think we're going to go for a walk. I'm going to show them the boathouse because it'll be interesting. Oh my god, the camera is literally misting. You can see how steamy it is in here. Um, <laughs> but you yeah, know, it's very helpful to have them with me actually. Yeah, they can see I'm stressed with exams and like, that was help. So we've just done a bit of teamwork. I just packed this machine here. My dad just loaded up, just about to push it on. That's 25 minutes. 
I know, it says 25 minutes, but actually takes 45, it changes. My parents are finally realising how much of a sauna it is in the laundry room and complaining about it a lot, so now they understand what I've been going on about in past laundry segments. Okay, so we're in the boathouse, I'm just showing my parents around. This boat here is the one I've been using for most outings recently. It's a four, because there's only been four of us available. Um, it's called the Joe Fraser. It's been great, it's been great. Um, a bit of a look around. Um, oh yes, over here is where we get blades. And you have to fix these to the boat each outing. Jesus colours, red and black on the bottom. Every college has their own blades. What do you think, guys? Quite a few boats. I'm impressed with the size. I mean, Jesus is quite a blades. rich boat club. We have quite a lot of stuff. I'm going to show you the one I used, the eight I used last term. I usually cox the fourth men's boat, M4. I've been doing the past two terms. It's been nice. Is that it? I think. Unless it's been moved. Okay, I think it's this one. I can't see the name, but down the bottom here. That's what I used last Very time. exciting. And uh, this is the new boat that the first, the top boat are using. It's called the Ian White after the Jesus College Master. Very fancy. <laughs> Look, such tourists. My parents love it. <laughs> and here is where all the coxes go. This is my cox box of choice. It's for the lower boat, so I use it for M4. Uh, turns on and off, you always have to put on charge and it gives you the rate the boat's going at and it also amplifies your voice. You plug one of these microphone things that go around your head onto it and of course for safety corpses always use a life jacket. I always have to help myself to one of those. Yeah, here's a record of all the boats assigned to each cruise. Oh, people have put like there's issues with the boats here so that they can be fixed. This is where you look out. Very nice balcony. We usually wait here before outings. As you can see, the Midsummer Common has a bit of a fair going on today. It's very busy. And here we have the kitchen. A bit of hot chocolate stuff here. Just get glasses of water. What's this? The kitchen? Got a bit of got, got decoration on the wall there. Very nice. And here we have the locker room where you dump your stuff before outings. I don't usually bring much with me. As a cox, I don't. I don't need much with me at all. I suppose rowers bring water and layers and whatnot, but me, not much is needed. And this is where it all happens. The erg room. The ergs are the rowing machines. This is where um, crews will always warm up before an outing. And this is where I shout at people, mostly. It's great. Lots of mirrors so you can check how you're doing. I've also, I've been, I've done a little bit of erging and rowing last term. I tried it out a bit and the mirrors are very handy to see what your technique's looking like. Mine looked appalling, I'll have you know, but uh, yeah. They also have a couple of exercise bikes. Yeah. So we're just heading back to college to collect my washing. I should probably get on with some work this afternoon because I do have exams coming up in less than a week's time and I probably should take a whole day off but I think it is good to take a few hours off every now and again so I don't get stressed. I have come with my parents to the roost. We've got some very tasty food. Bit of an afternoon snack before working. Okay, so I am back to work. <laughs> Yay, my parents have gone home. And now I am faced with this. I'm just going over the maths revision lecture notes because it's a really good summary of like the whole of Lent term. So if I go over that, I should know everything there is to know. I've done a few maths papers and I've realized there's a few holes in my knowledge that are holding me back from getting marks that if I just, if I knew something, it would help. <laughs> Funny that. <laughs> How idyllic is this? Very idyllic. Ella's brought me pineapple. That makes me happy. And I'm putting off working a bit more. It's been a great day, very productive. First, we will take in Ella's outfit. Yeah, we think, all cool, all cool, all cool. And then, and we see my outfit. Matching. What? Oh my God. And. <laughs> wow. 
snapsies. Hey, hey, so I just got back from the library. I've done a past paper, I'm feeling better about today and not having done too much work in the day because I've made it up this evening. Yeah, the pain this evening has been the fact that there's been this fair on the Midsummer Common, which is like over there somewhere. And it just has been making so much noise. Because you can hear it quite clearly from my room, I was like, well, let's go to the library and it'll be quieter there because the library's further away. And then I went to the library and nope, nope, you can still hear it pretty clearly from the library. Like for me, because I just, I don't, I like silence when working. It's just, oh, it's just a bit of a racket really. So, I mean, if this past paper I did went badly, that's what I'm going to put it down to. <laughs> it's totally not that I don't know like any maths at all, right? Hello, so it is Sunday morning and the sun is shining, so I'm in my sunny weather gear and I'm sitting inside doing work. <sighs> but it's fine, I haven't got that much longer of this, like exams will be over soon, so it's all good. I have actually already been up this morning. I got up and I did some maths just to tie up what I was doing last night. And now we're moving on to chemistry for the rest of the day, well until five o'clock. My chemistry supervisor will mark any work that's handed in before five o'clock and um, it's all just like revision questions I've been given. I'm just gonna do as many as I can get through today and hand in what I've done and then we'll go from there. So the update is, I'm sitting here eating fudge. And this was a present from my family from when they went on holiday to the Lake District. The bad news at the minute is that our water has just gone off. I know it's gone off for everyone in my staircase and in the staircase next door. So I'm presuming it's just affected the whole block, but, and the porters have said it's like some sort of massive leak. So I hope they fix it kinda soonish because I don't wanna go too long without running water. Okay, so it's now, nearly 20 past 10 and I'm thinking I probably am going to head to bed soon because I've done a fair bit of work today and I want to be fresh for tomorrow. I've got two supervisions to put in alongside everything else. I've just come to check if the water is working. What are the odds? My bets on no, but <laughs> okay, let's give it a try. It's the moment of truth. Are they being serious right now? The water ain't working. That was what was left in there from <laughs> before. I think I've trickled the rest of the remaining stuff out. Do you know what? We're gonna work for a little bit longer and pray the water might come back on in that time. Ah, okay, okay, we'll check it again, we'll check it again. Ah, oh my god! <laughs> Yay! Excellent news. How, how awful it's been, how awful. Good morning. Excuse how I'm looking. I couldn't be bothered to dry my hair or like just make myself look presentable at all this morning because I just want to get on with a past paper, which is what I'm doing. I'm doing a physics one. I'm going to bed and much earlier than usual. It is, well, it's like quarter to 11, which is early for me. <laughs> uh, you see this evening, because I've been working all day, I took the evening off and watched the first episode of Love Island, because I admit I'm an addict. <laughs> Judge me all you like, Love Island is a great TV show. And <laughs> I know I'm gonna be hooked on it all summer. I've just decided now that's finished, I need to go to bed and get a solid night's sleep so I'm ready for revision tomorrow. I know I shouldn't stress because it's actually only first year. And I don't know I don't know if I've said how the um, system works but we get a grade for first year, a grade for second year and a grade for third year in natural sciences. It tends to be that your second and especially your third year result that you quote as what you got in your degree. Like first year doesn't really, like it counts but you don't ever get an overall grade, you just get separate grades for each year. At the end of the day, I just need to pass. That's all that matters really. And I'd like to think that I could do that. So, like obviously in the past, I'm used to doing well in exams because I work hard and hard work pays off. But 
here because everyone is extremely bright it's it's hard to do as well because there are results they do on like a bell curve so there's always going to be people who get thirds i don't think it would be too hard to be in that, that lower percentage of people here just because everyone here is crazy clever i'm just going to do the best i can and that's what i'm telling myself and then just forget all about it for summer and have a great summer that's the plan okay so i am ready to go to formal Woohoo! And you may be thinking, but Paige, you have exams in two days time. And yes I do! And yet, I've still decided to go to formal. I mean, okay, I've got to relax. I've got to have some fun sometimes, guys, okay? And if we all fail, we all know why, and you can tell me I told you so. But until then, um, yeah, no, it's Henry's birthday today. So a lot of us are on the staircase, and Henry's other friends are all going to formal. So it'll be really nice i think everyone's meeting in like just over five minutes time because i'm early for once like what is this page out up early i'm usually like the last one ready the food is actually great at formals i don't even know what's on the menu this evening but i'll i'll show you when we're there i'm hoping it's something good because i'm so hungry i've hardly eaten anything all day i've just been snacking i've been living at my desk here is the remains of my revision it's been it's been fun Tomorrow we go on go into full on exam mode because it's the day before an exam and that means like get in the zone of the subject that's the next day. Tomorrow morning it's going to be like me realising, oh wait, ha, exams are the next day, oh no! And here is what I am wearing. I've got my play suit on, can you see that? Let me take the gown down. Um, more summery because the weather has suddenly taken a turn for the better. Obviously my gown, trademark. Um, normal shoes always go for these bit of a heel and the face you see the blue under my eyes i've been really bold i never go bold i put blue under my eyes and i'm not sure whether it works i've done it anyway i was feeling really like summer vibes you know blue and peaches you know is will ready for formal yeah. what's the look you're going for today will what's the look i'm going for yeah uh just being... Cambridge tie, shades. I've, I've worn this before, you know. And then we have Ed. Hello. I'm a bit more reasonable than he is. Yeah. <laughs> Am I more re... What do you mean? Because you're so nervous. What do you mean? So I'm ready on time. It's so... We're, you you were not ready on time. Well, yeah, I was. <laughs> you were. Oh, oh, yeah. But Will, Will is more late, but he has an excuse. I was literally in a supervision, so... <laughs> Birthday today, so we're here. Henry's birthday. How's your day been? It's been excellent. Yeah, I'm so excited. The menu tonight is amazing. It's got chicken for Maine and chocolate truffle torte dessert, which is amazing. I'm so excited. Yay! Chicken and chocolate torte. A thumbs up from me. Astrid is the only one drinking, and all things are back to normal in this world. <laughs> I just want to say, in the, in the, no, I'm just saying, in that vlog, in the C Sunday one, Paige called me a liability. I was not a liability. Yes, she was. Don't I'm not a liability. You're a liability. Oh, no, she got me. <laughs> well, Ed's a liability. Wait, why is this a liability? You're both liabilities. I'm not a liability. Well, William is a bigger liability. I'm not a liability. After the drinking So, the new Jesus College Mint are like double size. We're being treated today. <laughs> It's really, really exciting! Sneaky clip of the chocolate tour. Don't tell the butler I had my phone out. Well, it's got to the point where we can get our phones out again, like we're allowed to. Usually in formal we're not allowed our phones out. And we can like chat and be a bit more rowdy. <laughs> and we're just waiting for a cake to come out from Henry. So that'd be good. <laughs>
in Latin. They won't know what <laughs> Thank you all for coming to this, my birthday formal. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone who's come, and especially those who appear to have sacrificed their marks in exams later this week. <laughs> thank you very much for coming, and please join us in the bar afterwards. Have a great evening, guys. Look who got the best part of the cake. It was very tasty. And here is Ed's new so hairstyle. So really good. Look at it, yeah. <laughs> it looks really cool. <laughs> Comment down below what you think of it. Oh my god, there's another vlog going on too. Okay, make it straighter down the middle. Yeah, it's not quite classy. I charge, it's the whole in the centre of the I'm giving him a centre part. So don't put all down there. Yeah, put it all down. Oh no, don't do that. Wow, you have nice bands. Thank you. Just that because. Wait, did the hair just recut that bit, or is that where I cut it? They they recut all of it. Should we go into tonight, guys? Just yeah, I think we should. Oh my god, Ed's hair got part three. Let's vlog. Ed's hair gets cut. Yeah, I'm sorry for that. And we all went to the college bar after formal, and it was a very fun time. So I am back from formal. I'm my classic home chair. Do you remember the days when I always used to sit here and talk a lot? Because I do. We're back to it. We're coming back from formal. We're coming back for a night out. Ah. That was nice. Just imagine May week when I can be doing things like that all the time. I oh, know it was a lovely meal. Um, went to J Bar afterwards and had a few nice chats. And yeah, Henry, I hope you had a good birthday. Um, now I'm gonna go to bed. It is oh, it's past eleven. So yeah, that's it for this week. My last week of preparing for exams. Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I will see you soon with another vlog. Bye bye.